Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play your favorite retro games on any iOS device. You can play Game Boy Advance, GBA, Super Nintendo, NDS, you know, and much, much more. Stay tuned, and I'll show you what this is all about. Okay, guys. If you guys find this video or any of my other videos helpful, please click on the thumbs up down below and don't forget to click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified for all future videos. Okay guys, this is a GBA and Game Boy emulator, right, with SNES, NDS, and Sega Master that you can play on any iOS device. This is currently being tested on iOS 15.x. And you can play it directly in your browser, and it really, really works. Uh, there's, there's, there has been previously like GBA for iOS and all that other uh, fun stuff, but um, this one seems to be working the great, and it's a brand, brand new one. It's called Retro 22. To access this, just go to weplayold.com, as you can see right here. Once you went ahead and went on the actual uh, website, um, it works best in Safari. Then you're going to see here you have GB, which is Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, SNES, NDS, Sega Master, Atari, Sega Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, Arcade, PlayStation. You can play this all directly from your browser. Let's, for example, here go to GBA, which is Game Boy Advance. There's preloaded games here, so you can play Dragon Ball Advance Adventure, Metroid, Fire Red. Let's, for example, go ahead and, you know, let's just make sure that it actually works. So let's go ahead and open up, um, as an example, Pokemon Emerald, right? Then you go to play here, and you click on the, the blue play now, give it a couple seconds, click on the little X on the ad on the top right, that'll go ahead and make this disappear. And as you can see right now, you have the Pokemon Emerald game launched directly in your browser, and it works really, really great. Like, see here, press start, you can press start as an example. All right, you can do new game or options, for example, new game. Oh, anyway, I pressed back by accident. So let's go, for example, new game. And then from here, you know, the game's gonna start. So I'm not gonna go ahead and actually play the whole game for you because you guys know that's just how it works. Now, you guys are probably wondering, um, how do I save, right? Press on the menu button. Then the third from the bottom left of this little icon right here. Do you want to download Pokemon Emerald U State? Now, since it's directly in the browser, it's probably, probably thinking, oh, does that mean when I play the game, right? and I get somewhere important, right, do I have to go ahead and play the game all over again? No, you can actually press download, right, and it'll go ahead and download your saved state. If I, for example, go to my download section. So now, the next time you open the game, you can go back and open that state up so you're back in where you want it, right? You also have here the little folder where you can load state. So, for example, if I go back here, right, let's go back and put one emerald. To show you that the actual saving and loading does work, press X here on the ad. Let's uh, let the Safari load the uh, Game Boy here as an example. Then once you're actually inside the game, you go ahead and uh, load. So, press menu here, click on the little load, choose file, choose my game, and it brings you directly back. So, you can go ahead and save as if you were, you know, um, whenever you want during the game. Don't save in the actual game because you're actually going to lose the process. If I go back here, right, you guys can see there's more, lots of games here and it works great. So, for example, SNES, you have all these games right here. You have, you know, Game Boy Advance and much, much more. So, and that's basically it, guys. It's, and the cool thing about this is you don't actually need a, a jailbreak. It just works right out of the box. Um, I do have an older iPhone, an iPhone 7, and it does play well. 
Um, I played it on my sibling's iPhone 13 and it runs as smooth as butter. So of course you would need to have at least an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10 or newer for it to run smoothly. It does work on iPhone 7s but it's you're probably not gonna like the experience um, so I'd recommend probably an iPhone 8 plus or an iPhone 8 or newer iPhone 10 iPhone XS you know those are gonna work iPad pearls are all gonna work of course no problem iPad minis any iOS device and there you guys have it if you guys have any questions comments or concerns let me know down in the comment section below don't forget to follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye